Namaste. I'm Dr. Ruma Sinha, Honorary Professor, Apollo Hospitals, Laparoscopic and Robotic Surgeon in Gynecology. Today we are going to talk about gestational diabetes, that is development of diabetes while you are pregnant. So what is gestational diabetes? Well, a woman who never had diabetes but is now pregnant and finds her blood sugars to be high and people say that you are developing diabetes is what we in a very simple term call as gestational diabetes, meaning that when you are gestational, that means when you are pregnant, you have developed diabetes. What are the signs and symptoms of gestational diabetes? There usually is not very severe signs and symptoms for you to understand that you are developing diabetes and that is why screening is very, very important. You may have some symptoms that also non-specific like feeling more thirsty, feeling more hungry, trying to go to the washroom more often, passing urine more. But these are also very, very common symptoms in pregnancy. So how do you know you have diabetes? So screening and doing blood sugar test in your pregnancy as your gynecologist or obstetrician is advising you is very important to diagnose that whether you are developing gestational diabetes or not. What are the risk factors of developing gestational diabetes? Gestational diabetes can develop in women who are either obese, who have family history of diabetes, who gain a lot of weight during pregnancy, who have a tendency to develop diabetes because their mother, sisters or somebody else in the family has diabetes. Sometimes multiple pregnancy, that means if you are with twins, you may develop more diabetes. So these are some of the risk factors that can make you more amenable to developing gestational diabetes during pregnancy. Can you get rid of gestational diabetes while you are pregnant? I think this is a, a, a wrong way to look at it. You may think that if I will run or I will not eat, my gestational diabetes will go away. Probably not because you need to understand why have you developed the gestational diabetes in the first place. You have developed because when you are pregnant, your body has something that we call as insulin resistance. That means it is trying to make more glucose available in your blood. Your insulin which is being produced by your body should be able to take care of it so that the sugar levels don't go up. But the insulin or blood the sugar is available for the growing baby. Now when this insulin is not sufficient, you develop diabetes. So you cannot really get rid. However, remember. If you have early or minimal diabetes, you will probably be able to manage with diet management and exercise rather than requiring medication. Can you get gestational diabetes by eating sugar? It's the other way around. If you have a tendency to develop gestational diabetes and you eat too much sugar, you will definitely get a diabetes during pregnancy. So cutting down sugar is a good habit when you are pregnant or not pregnant anyway. Just eating sugar, but if your body is producing enough insulin, you will not get diabetes just because you ate sugar. What are the treatment options available for gestational diabetes? The first intervention that we advise when we know that you are either developed or developing gestational diabetes is to lifestyle modification. And in this lifestyle modification, we mean both diet and exercise. So you must take the correct diet, which is low on high sugars, high glycemic food, and regular frequent meals. So listen to your dietitian, listen to your doctor and take the correct diet. Second, exercising will reduce the need and amount of medications that you may require to control the diabetes. However, remember that if you have a tendency and developing diabetes, you must take those medications to control the sugar because high sugar is your biggest enemy while you are pregnant, not just for you but also for your baby. So both of you can develop abnormal problems just because the sugar in your blood is high. The last resort that we can do to control the sugar is to give you medication. And by and large, we advise you to take insulin supplementation to control your sugar. I know, I know it is injectable. You need to take some small injections. But the insulins that are available now, the syringes and the needles that are available now are so painless. It is really important for you to pay attention and take those for you to control your blood sugar. What are the complications of gestational diabetes for mother and baby? As I just mentioned, high sugar has a lot of problems. So let's start with the first problem that a high sugar can have. 
when I say teratogenic that means the high level of sugar itself can cause abnormality in the baby. That means the baby can have birth defects. The baby can have structural developmental defects just because the mother's sugar was high in the first trimester. As the pregnancy progresses, there can be both. The baby can be very big, which you call as macrosomic, or can be an IOGR. These babies, when born, can develop respiratory distress syndrome or can have very low sugar levels called hypoglycemia and they can have problems. These babies of mothers of gestational diabetes in the long term have chances of developing of type 2 diabetes where they may require treatment of diabetes. How does the gestational diabetes affect the mother? The mother has higher chance of developing preeclampsia, hypertension and gestational hypertension as well. These mothers can abnormally gain weight which can cause problem. Abnormal high weight of the baby and mother leads to problems during labor like difficult in induction, may end up having caesarean section and because of high sugar you may have more chances of developing infections. What are the prevention methods we can take to prevent gestational diabetes? If you are overweight before you got before you are planning pregnancy lose the weight. If you are a patient of PCOD or PCOS make sure you take adequate treatment do the lifestyle modifications and bring that condition under control. Make sure you do not abnormally gain weight during pregnancy. Do a regular checkup of your blood sugar levels, diagnose as early as possible before the high sugar levels cause more damage to you and the baby. And if diet and exercise is not helping you completely, do not hesitate to take the medication that is advised by your doctors. Thank you for listening to us today and happy pregnancy. Namaste.